Hey, how you doing? Tim Warner here with a brief tutorial on how you can print animated PowerPoint slides legibly. In this short video, I'm going to introduce you to a piece of freeware called PP Split. I made a short URL to help you find it. It's timw.info forward slash ppsplit. Timw.info PP Split. Okay, so what's the use case here? You're working in PowerPoint for whatever reason in your business or personal life, and you want to add impact by integrating animations. You've got point one, point two, point three, and point four, and everything is great when you're presenting. However, when you make PDF handouts for your attendees, what exactly are they going to see? Well, I'm in PowerPoint 2019 on Windows here, and I'm going to do a print and make a PDF here using the Microsoft Print to PDF software printer. I'll call this original.pdf. And I think you know what's going to happen, don't you? Let me open this up in Chrome. I don't happen to have PDF Reader on this machine. Everything gets lumped together here. And it's not too bad in this example, but depending upon what you're doing with animations, it could make your handouts really terrible. I work as a trainer, so I'm presenting every day, so this is a problem that I definitely needed to solve. And what I found, again, is a piece of freeware called PP Split. I don't know this developer. It is open source freeware. You can download the source code from this site as well. And I'm going to walk you how to install it. Now, limitation here, this is Windows software, and I'm using PowerPoint for Windows. So if you're on Mac, you'll have to run VMware Fusion or some other software to use the Windows PowerPoint in order to do this. So you download the software from here. It comes down as a very small zip file. And for security reasons, the developer password protected it. The password is PP split in lower case. Let me come over here and run the installer here with you. Unfortunately, the software is not digitally signed, but I've used it for many years and can vouch for its safety. It's never messed up any of my systems. I'm going to right click and close out of PowerPoint just to get that out of the way here. We'll step through the wizard. We'll accept the license agreement and click install. It tells us that an Office 2013-2016 installation has been detected. The add-in is going to be configured anyway, even if some recent PowerPoint features may be unsupported. Now let me go back to the browser. You'll notice that the developer issued his latest release in January 2018, and I'm recording this video in early February 2019, so it's been a little while, but again, I wanted to show you this video to demonstrate that the PP Split add-on works in PowerPoint 2019 for Windows. It'll certainly work in earlier versions. So I just finished here, and everything seems okay. If I open the Start menu, let's open up PowerPoint again. And I'll bring up that document that we were just looking at. If all goes well, you should see a new tab in your ribbon called PP Split. If that is not there, I found that on another of my machines, a Windows 10 machine, the PP Split add-on just was not appearing. So in order to manually load it, what you'll want to do is go to File, Options, and then in the PowerPoint Options, come down to Add-ins, open the Manage drop-down and select PowerPoint Add-ins, click Go. Here it's already on my system, but if it's not, you'd go to Add New, and you would browse out, or maybe PowerPoint will take you to the correct path, under C, Users, Your Username, App Data Roaming Microsoft Add-ins. You select the PP Split folder, and then make sure that the available add-ins has it selected. From there, it's just a question of when you're ready, come to the PP Split bar and click Split Animations, and notice what it does. It creates a separate slide. Let me go to Slide Sorter View and zoom in a little bit. It creates a separate slide for each one of those animations. Now, if I go over to View, Switch Windows, you'll see that I'm still in that original document. I would have liked it to create a separate file. So I guess as a best practice, you should either create a separate file for your PowerPoint that you're going to hack and slash this way, or just be prepared that your slide count might increase big time because that add-in will break every animation out like so. So you might decide in your output that, um, I like the first two, but I don't want the last two. Because they're on separate slides, you can just get rid of them. And then by going into the slide, you notice that you still can manipulate those objects, which is kind of handy. All right, so from here, it would just be a question of going back to print, printing a PDF, and away you go. I hope that you found this tutorial helpful. 
Let me put up my contact information. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, or curiosities, I'm happy to entertain those. My Twitter handle is TechTrainerTim, and my website is TechTrainerTim.com, and you can get to my Microsoft MVP page, my Pluralsight courses, LinkedIn, whatever you need from there. Thanks again for your attention. Happy PowerPointing. Take care.